Hello and welcome to the review of a Bandai Gashapon Rider Figure Volume 1. Wow, this certainly takes me back a little bit. Uh, you know, like two years or something, or a year. Uh, just when I was also uh, uploading a bunch of old videos which contains... Um, uh, just removing music from, from a bunch of old videos that don't have the toys to anymore re-uploading them to YouTube and YouTube has the automatic uh, music removal now so I made it easy so I was able to do that and um, and yeah some old writer figures <laughs> so this is like wow this is just like before I haven't reviewed one of these for a long while so you have Ghost uh, Mu uh, Mugen Damashi like his ultimate form you have uh, Spectre with his deep Spectre form and you have come out of Ichigo power up form. So all of these are their, I guess you can say their ultimate forms, as far as we know at the moment. And standard Gashapon information on the back. Uh, on the front here, somewhere it does actually not on, on the sheet, but on the Gashapon machine, the little poster says, "Hey, uh, they've got some features like colors and transparent stuff and um, things you can do." Oh, like rotate their arms so they have some articulation so and when these come out the pack they're literally just like um a body and all that uh, heads don't your yeah, heads are stuck pretty on on pretty solid so i got these for sort of like old times sake um but uh, yeah these guys i was hoping these guys would be the the rebirth of the uh, digital grade or um Hard grade or scan, how was this scan? Scan heroes, whatever. Uh, yeah, digital grade was like the original, or oh, high grade. High grade was the original sort of Gashapon Rider figures, and they went on for quite a few years, a uh, long, long run. And um, HG is still around as a brand from Bandai, but they don't really release that much stuff anymore, and certainly not Rider. The last Rider thing that they released was just a special Bandai premium set that had black, RX, and Shadow Moon with the big head of the Sentry King, the uh, one of the final bosses in the Black series. So it's like a little set piece, and it was really expensive. Uh, it's the same scale as the regular HG stuff, and because it was in a new pose. But before that, um, there hasn't been HG for a long while for Kamen Rider. Uh, I think they did some for Ultraman or something else. They did an Ultraman versus Kamen Rider set as well, where Kamen Rider was in the Ultraman pose, and Ultraman was in the Kamen Rider pose, just like reverse sort of thing going on. But uh, no regular sets anymore. And last we saw of these, uh, they were Wizard and Forze, but they were shrunk a little bit. Um, and some of them were not released in Gashapons at work, and were instead released as keychains, you know, just chains stuck in the head. And so these guys came along and I was like, oh cool, uh, Gashapon Rider figures again. But these guys are tiny. Just for comparison's sake, here is a uh, Lego figure. That's uh, Supergirl. Uh, for something more similar, here is a Kamrata Gaim soft vinyl figure. A banana arms. As you can see here, the scale is... yeah. Um, so... Uh, I cannot use these figures at all for Lego figures because the heads are far too small. I'm just gonna take her hair off. And you see, look, the head. Lego head's actually bigger. So that's not gonna work. So I can't do that with these guys. So I'm probably gonna put these on eBay or something and get rid of them. Um, I guess for one, some other comparison here is a Hong Kong Luxie. Actually, that's a useless comparison. Uh, a useful comparison would be uh, the Rider Machine from uh, Agito. Um, the head size is actually pretty much the same. These guys, I think the Akito is still just a tiny, tiny bit solid, but they definitely uh, can fit next to each other. So, yeah, the really, really old Rider machines from like 2002 or something, it's the same scale. All right, that's definitely useful for some people, maybe. Uh, let's see, let's try and do another uh, comparison. Here's a Mini Mate. So, yeah. Uh, the size here is just, it's not big enough for anything, it's not small enough for anything. Uh, it's just not that good at this scale. Still, let's see if we can appreciate it for what it is. Like I said, it does have basic articulation here. Um, does have arm rotation. That's it! Uh, legs don't even peg in circle pegs, so they, they're stuck. Um, so, Ghost Mugen Tamashi is the whole thing's molded in this transparent plastic with glitter in it, and of course has painted details all over. And the paint details are for something this size, eh, it could be better, it could be worse. I've definitely seen better. Um, and the paint, again, the 
cheat on the back and don't really paint the details like they just sort of skip the details on the back so yeah great and this is a transparent figure they could have painted the eyes with a transparent orange color but nope just metallic because uh, every extra paint that they use is you know more money and even the molding details aren't that great uh, I'd rather have a soft vinyl to be honest those were better uh, Deep Spectre is okay I guess Mm. Yeah, no paint whatsoever on the back. No paint details anyway. And uh, I guess Ichigo, so far this is the only way to get an Ichigo figure. And SH Figuts is coming out, but uh, if you want a small Ichigo, Ichigo figure from the movie, uh, this is the first one so far. I do hope eventually when the next wave of soft final figures, like the soft Fubi ones come out, uh, there'll be an Ichigo this one, because um, I really need one of these to uh, make my custom Lego figure. Uh, but uh, there is... Uh, yeah, no detail paints on that. And the mold detail is okay. Um, as always, these figures have tend to have great molding detail because that doesn't really cost them extra to do it. Um, they have really thick boots, by the way. Uh, oh, he can't stand. Come on, just stand there. Stand still. Uh, but there you go. Um, now this thing, uh, now this thing isn't expensive at all. Only three figures in the way, which seems a bit silly to be honest. There should be a few more. But this is 58 Hong Kong dollars. That's not much at all. It's dirt cheap for what it is. Uh, so it's good value as a toy-ish thing statue. But um, and I am glad they are standing in just a straight pose. Not no fancy pose or anything. So these are good for, collect for collectors' sake. Just having a bunch of these. But um, since this scale doesn't really match anything at all. Um, if this is one of those lines that they just give up after two or three volumes, then forget it. I cannot recommend this at all. But uh, if they do intend to actually carry on this the line at all by at least having at least a hundred figures by the end of it, then maybe I can recommend it. But um, it's it's sort of in a position of hey, these are kind of cheap to get, but they don't really fulfill anything really. Um, soft final stuff that I showed uh, pretty much has a small standing figure line covered and they do have one extra bit of articulation which is on the hips can't even swap these around for anything so yeah subscribe suggest and comment below and of course take care and have a nice day bye